Hello and welcome to Aquarius Rising Tarot. This message is for Leo. This is going to be a love reading for the month of February. So happy Valentine's Day to you all. This is going to be a you and them reading. So I'll have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone that you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone you are thinking about and someone who is thinking about you. I want to thank everyone who's liked, subscribed, commented, donated, and ordered personal readings. You all make it possible for me to bring you these messages, and I appreciate you so much. Well, let's get started. Okay, Leo. What is going on with Leo? What is the heart of the matter for Leo? What is the heart of the matter? What's going on in your personal, I mean, in your daily life, your daily life, well, your personal daily life, your daily life. How are you feeling in your heart? What intentions do you have? And your potential outcome. Are jumping around <laughs> too many. Okay, potential outcome. Beautiful. Okay. Now, let's get the cards to your person and we'll get started. What's the heart of matter for your person? What's your person thinking about this connection? My goodness. What is going on in your daily life? Or their daily life? What is happening in their heart space? In the heart space. Intentions. Potential outcome. Okay, got some interesting cards here. Let's see what's going on, Leo. Hard the matter. We got the King of Swords. Are you feeling really confident about something? Really determined? Really sure? Because that's what this card is all about. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy could be significant. You could be in this energy or be thinking about someone in this energy. But you are definitely showing up. You clearly know who you are. This is someone who speaks their truth. This is someone who is very, very determined. This is almost like a stubborn energy, but it's very, it's very caring. It's, it can be protective even, but there is something to do with clarity of thinking, determination, and just seeing the King of Swords makes me feel like you might be really sure about something. I mean, what you were thinking about this, this connection, how, for me, the King of Swords is all about a decision is made, something that you know and you're aware of and not afraid to, not afraid to speak your mind. So it could be your energy, it could be your person. For the heart of the matter for your person, we have the Empress, Divine Feminine Energy. It doesn't have to be male or female. We all hold both. Taurus could be significant. Libra as well. But this is the planet Venus incarnate in Earth. This is abundance, creativity, new beginning. This person could really be seeing you like this as someone who... It says so much, so much beauty, so much creativity, so much potential, and it is, it is the beginning of all things. It, it represents things like, um, like pregnancy and doesn't have to mean a pregnancy literally, but it can mean a birth of something or news of a birth of something. So the very beginning of a project or a relationship or something like that. This person, if they're showing up in this energy and what they're thinking about this connection with you, they are really feeling like anything is possible. Feeling very, very good about this. It's interesting too, because we've got a very masculine energy on your side and a very feminine energy on your person's, but it doesn't matter. It can be, um, 
can be male or female, doesn't matter at all, but they're energies. But there's something, Leo, that you were that you were sure about, something that you were decided about. And this person feels like anything is possible here. So I like the energies going into this. In your daily life, we have the ace of ace of cups. This is new beginning. This is new beginning in love. This can be falling in love. This can be creativity. But it's the beginning of all things from the heart. It's heart-centered. It's, I mean, I just feel like there's something going on with you, Leo, where you know who you are. You know how you feel. With this Ace of Cups at, um, at your daily life, you could be really connecting with someone. You could be texting back and forth with someone while you're at work. You could be feeling a lot of feelings of love or very romantic or very excited about someone. You could also get messages coming in. The way this hand is kind of facing, it's almost like these messages of someone just kind of crazy about you or falling for you. It could be like connecting with you at school or work in your daily life. You could just be kind of daydreaming about them a little bit too. So... In their daily life, they've got the Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and if I didn't mention Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It's interesting. I was really hoping it, if I waited till Mercury was out of retrograde, I would be able to communicate better. I kept trying to do these readings a little earlier in the month, and it was like I couldn't, couldn't quite get the words, and I'm still struggling a little bit, but I wasn't in... I had done several readings today because I had a bunch of personals and then I had some others for some other projects and I wasn't really struggling until I got to your reading. So it makes me think, especially this person coming in with this three of pentacles at, um, in their daily life, that there could be someone around you that might be having a lot of feelings for you and is a little nervous to speak about it, a little tongue-tied about it. That's just the way that I'm seeing it, just with the energy that I feel. Like there's almost something, it's almost like a little nervous energy. And I mean, whenever there's new love and new beginnings and whenever you're just beginning to come together, there can be a little bit of nerves. So you could be newly connecting or reconnecting with someone. With the Three of Pentacles, both, your person is coming in in threes in their first two cards which is creating something together with someone. It's collaborating. It's seeing eye to eye on things. So um, could be collaborations. And there really could be someone at your work or school that has a crush on you. I just have to say that. So in your heart space, you have the star. I feel like you've been dealing with something very transformative, Leo. I do. There's uh, This star comes right after the tower, which means there had to have been some sort of challenge, some sort of shake up, something that you went through, something that was very transformational, that you were rising, you were healing, you were showing like the world who you are. People are seeing you, you're seeing yourself. I just love this energy for you. Aquarius energy could be very significant, could be dealing with an Aquarius with this King of Swords here in this star card, just have to say. But I feel like this is you. You've been through some things, whatever it was. It it didn't break you. It didn't. It may have felt like it like it could have or like it almost did, but you're you're putting your toe in in the waters, which means you're you're stepping into your emotions. You're thinking about your feelings and what's really meaningful with whenever you see someone who's unclothed in the tarot, that's authenticity. That's letting people see you for who you are. That's you embracing yourself for who you are. And the star card is all about healing, the healing that comes after the things that were never really meant to be for us kind of fall apart. We sort of rise from all of that and we heal and we wake and we step, step forward as our true selves. And there's something that you're doing right now that is so magnetic. It's like you are lighting up. People are seeing you. They're drawn to you. People want to be around you. You almost might have like too, too many people wanting your attention with this Ace of Cups and this star energy and this King of Swords, just your, the clarity and the way you're speaking. And um, you might not even realize it's like you're teaching people or guiding people and you might not even realize it. 
Your person in their heart space has the moon. Pisces energy could be significant here. When I get the moon, I get a lot of different things. I get intuition. I get someone going within. Sometimes it can be confusion. Sometimes it can be someone dreaming about you. And sometimes it can be someone having a lot of feelings, but being a little secretive, not fully speaking up. Someone could be being very quiet about their feelings for you. But this is when someone goes within because... They are a little confused. They do need to sort some things out and things might not be as they appear. If someone has gotten quiet or seems to have pulled away or something like that, I don't feel like they're, they've gone away. I just feel like they've gone within. So in your intentions, we have the Empress. And what I love about this is we have... I feel like they're kind of showing up as the Empress or seeing you as the Empress and you are showing up as the Empress here or seeing them as the Empress. It's incredible energy. As I said, it's Taurus and Libra, but this is Venus and Venus, lovely Venus, has just recently, as of Saturday, um, come out of retrograde. Venus was in retrograde from December 19th all the way up until January 29th. That only happens about once every 18 months. And it is the planet of beauty, love, creativity, communication. And it is it is abundance. It's everything you see in this card. And it had, it had been going in reverse. It had felt like it was in reverse. The past couple months have been kind of bumpy. People have been getting confused or having miscommunications. And, um, and now when I'm seeing you and your person both showing up with all this Empress energy, the way I feel it is like Venus is moving forward again and you are right there with it. I mean, you are lighting up. You are glowing. It's like Venus is shining. It's beautiful energy on you. And you are showing up, Leo. I mean, people are just, I feel like they're just so drawn to you right now. And I feel like this person is very drawn to you right now. Your person's intentions are the Ace of Pentacles, which is interesting since in their heart space they're a little confused being a little quiet maybe a little secretive and their intentions are the ace of pentacles that is someone who wants to see you wants to get together wants to make an offer and it's the cornerstone of the ten of pentacles it's a new beginning that could last and lead to something something beautiful something long term somebody really does see a future with you with these aces on both sides and it's interesting how they're like on the outside on either side of the reading some of you could be meeting someone completely new but some of you it is a fresh start with someone that you have a lot of very warm feelings here for with this ace of cups um someone that could have been quiet someone that could have even been like crushing on you at work or school or something like that um or any kind of organization really this three of pentacles could be anything um can even be like communication online and that sort of thing. Um, someone who may have been very secretive about it uh, is definitely wanting to step up and make an offer here. In their potential outcome, they are making some decisions. That is for certain. I mean, they're seeing you here as the Empress. They're feeling like anything is possible here, but they're in the Two of Pentacles, the Two of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So I do feel like they're very aware of the significance of this connection. This is our infinity symbol here. This is that kind of connection that is outside of time. It is, it is before, after, always. It's, it's timeless and love is like that. If you love someone, it, it just is. It's, it's an energy that exists outside of space and time. And they feel this. But I do feel like they are a little nervous. Like my voice just cracked again. Like this person is a little nervous, I feel like, to speak up. Not for everyone, but for some. But they've held on to this a long time. And I almost feel like I just see them almost feeling like knowing that they need to step forward on this. With the Two of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy here, it's time to make a heart overhead decision. This, some, this might be somebody who's kind of a thinker and kind of a planner and kind of wants to do things right and know everything's going to work out. You know, they might really like you, but then they think, oh, they're long distance or I have this or they have that. Or, you know, um, if you're like in work or school, well, these people might think this or these people might think that. Or might think, It's like they're up in their head and they're thinking all these things. And, um, and it's tripping them up a little bit, but all they really need to do is go into their heart and the answer is there. I feel like they're definitely doing that because the final card here is the Ten of Cups. It is emotional 
fulfillment, that is being together, that is someone you can really see yourself with, that is the Ace of Cups is the beginning of the Ten of Cups. So there's something that's happening, some kind of communication, some kind of new beginning that is potentially leading to something that is really lasting. Your person is aware of this potential here. They're just, if they have been, if they have been quiet, they've just got a little bit of confusion about some sort of decision that they need to make about how the two of you can really be together. I feel like that's what's really on their mind. How can we make this work? How can we make this last? But they definitely want to make an offer here. So your potential outcome cards, I love this, especially for February. This Knight of Cups has been popping up all over the place. That's our romantic offer. I love that. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. So you are doing you, Leo. You are doing wonderful. If you're not feeling it, it is coming. There's independence. There's confidence. And this is you. This is you being being good on your own. And the nine of pentacles has to come before the 10. The 10 is being good with someone, but the nine is being good on your own. And you gotta be good on your own before you can find that balance. I do feel like you've been working through something here with the chariot card coming up and the star. Both these cards have a lot to do with um, healing, with forward movement after um, possibly some sort of stuck energy or a challenge. And so I do feel like you are very much ready to move forward. Could be dealing with a Cancer or a Sagittarius here, I have to say, with the Chariot and Temperance card. Um, but there is something that Divine has been working on. That's the Two of Cups in the hands of Divine. Someone that you are definitely connected to and you're feeling this connection. And I feel like if there has been some sort of stuck energy or any kind of quiet or miscommunication, with this chariot, something is definitely moving forward because divine has been balancing out these two cups and guiding you two towards one another. There's definitely an offer coming in with this Knight of Cups being the final card. I love that. Could be a romantic message, could be a romantic um, plan that someone is going to be surprising you with or you them. It's, it, it's take it how it resonates, but I do feel like someone has feelings a lot, a lot deeper than, um, than you may realize. I mean, the Empress is all about the one, the person that you know is the one. And they're seeing you that way and wanting to tell you. So that is what I have for you. I love this reading. I love this message. And uh, in the middle of February, I'm going to be um, hopefully recording the longer messages that I enjoy doing with all the clarifiers. But it's been kind of a kind of a crazy time here. I know a lot of you have probably been hit. In, I know a lot of us in the U.S. have been hitting, getting hit with some crazy weather. Probably in other places too. I know, um, but I've been snowed in. We've had a Mercury retrograde. It's been crazy. It's been positive, but it's been a little bumpy for me. And I, I feel like it probably has been for a lot of people. A lot of people I work with. A lot of people I um, communicate with and read for. But Venus is. <laughs> Um, out of retrograde, Mercury as of, I think, Wednesday, officially out of retrograde. So energies are moving forward. Communication is happening. Um, connections are coming together. So just rest in that, claim that, and recognize that you are worthy of exactly the kind of love that you truly desire. And that is how you draw it right towards you. So that is what I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much.